guys, welcome to my channel. So I already did my whole face makeup. Now all I'm missing is my eye makeup. I am don't know what I'm gonna be doing, but I kind of want to film a little video just to get ready with you guys. So let's get into it. Okay, so my lids are already primed because I put concealer on them. I always do. That has been my concealer for the past week. To begin with, I'm taking the Violet Voss Don't Stare at It Too Long because it's really dirty drenched metals palette and it features all these beautiful, beautiful shades. I'm going to go ahead and take this one right here. It's called Secret. Excuse my nails as well. Don't stare at them too long. They are also very messy. <laughs> and um, I'm taking that shade right there. It's a very nice, it could be used as, used as a transition shade to be honest. I'm going in with the Morphe S12. It's this little fluffy almost crease really just a crease brush that's smaller but still fluffy and I'm gonna take that into my crease Yish. I like it I like it a lot it's it's subtle but it's still doing it for me Still working but it's laid back okay now I'm gonna go into the Holy Grail palette which has colors like this this is this is the shit like I love these colors so much and I'm gonna take these three right here this one this one and those that's usually uh, what I use when I'm doing like a transition shade or like crease shades these are what I go for because it just gives you dimension you know you know so I'm just gonna put that in basically the same area that we just put that one. And these are a little bit more warm than the one I just put. So like I said, it's gonna be dimensional. And I had to put lipstick on because my lips had foundation all over them and it was not cute, girl. It wasn't cute, it didn't look good. I, I'm a visual person, I gotta see it. Like, I can't. Take the other shade that I shown you. And I'm just putting those three. I'm starting, doesn't matter which one you start with because they're all going on your lid. But um, yeah, I'm just putting all of those three basically in the same area. And I'm circling my brush like this, like a shark. And then I'm gonna windshield wiper it. Did you know sharks can't swim backwards? They stop breathing if they do. My favorite sea animal is a shark. I just think they're so badass. And like, it's always been. One of the movies that I actually enjoyed watching as a kid was Jaws. I've seen all of them and I really liked it as a kid. Call me weird. Is that weird? <laughs> Everybody's like, I like dolphins. And I'm just like, I like sharks. I feel like sharks is an actual fear and people fear sharks so much, but you know what? They're just beautiful creatures at the same time. Okay, so now that those are on the lid, I'm going back to the Drenched Metals palette and I'm gonna take, and I know what I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna take Grunge, which is right here. Um, I'm gonna think, I think I'm gonna end up using these three, but give me a second. Let me put this together in my brain. This is impromptu, so I'm going as I go. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take Grunge, that first one I showed you, with a small little packing brush that looks like this one tap off the excess girl and I'm gonna go ahead and start by putting this on the outer corners it's not so 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 pigmented which is a good thing because you know can we just talk real second about the dream I had last night it was horrifying I had a dream that um, okay I forgot what most of it was all I know is that there is these little planes <laughs> these little tiny like toy planes that had these things attached to it and if you grab those things and threw them on the floor this big monster came up and would like suck you in with its like long tentacle thing and you would die that was my dream I didn't connect it right there. I'm not that good at talking while I do my makeup. Because usually I stay really, really quiet. 
I just shut up while I do my makeup because I'm so focused, so in the moment. But yeah, I had that dream and it was terrifying. I was really scared. And then we were like on this rooftop and um, there was a helicopter going around, obviously, you know. Government trying to stop whatever they were trying to stop. It was kind of like a Cloverfield type of thing. I've never seen that movie. I've only seen bits and pieces of it, but I'll never fully watch it because I don't feel the need to watch a movie that's constantly like moving all around. <sighs> like if my little cousin filmed it, you think it's one of those movies. It's just like, really? Okay, so now that those are on, I'm gonna flip the brush over and I'm gonna wipe whatever is left on the brush on the back of my hand because we like to look bruised. And I'm gonna take the shade Minx, which is this one right here. Actually, no, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna take the shade Minx. I'm gonna put that in the center. Honestly, don't know how this is coming out. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm just gonna make sure to blend it. Oh, shit. I got a ton of full oil. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the Morphe S27. This just um, make sure to blend brush. And I'm just gonna run that right into the crease to make sure that that little halo that we made is smooth, smooth, smoothed out. Now I'm gonna take this little brush right here. This is the S21. Go into the Holy Grail palette and I think I'm gonna take this one right here, which is the shade called Teddy Bear. Teddy Bear. And I'm gonna put that into the crease. And just really build that. Okay, we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere with this, and I'm actually kind of really liking it. It's looking very like grungy and type of like real good. Real well, real good. I'm gonna go back into this little guy right here. This is the one that we used first, the S12. They go into the drenched metals, and I'm gonna take this one right here. This is the shade Huntress. I've used this in my crease before and I absolutely love it. And since there is some shimmer in the lid, I might as well add some into the crease, right? Add it on in there. I'm gonna put it a little bit lower though than, um, you know, in the crease, but pushing it downwards a little tiny bit lower. You know, I think I'm doing a really dark, kind of like a real, real smoky eye today is because I haven't worn shadow in a bit. So I'm just kind of like, I am making up for it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and marry all of them together, which I don't know if this made sense or like, I just did steps for no reason because you don't see it as much anymore. Um, but I'm just going to. I'm gonna do something a little different today and I'm going to do eyeliner but with shadow. I am gonna take the shade Midnight Trist. Midnight Trist? Don't know how to pronounce that. It's just black. It has a little bit of shimmer in it. And then I'm gonna take this Morphe brush. It's kind of like a, a brow slash eyeliner brush. Then I'm going to start super close to the lid. Dude, just fall out. It's alright. I'm gonna go to the other one because. Yep. Now I'm gonna take this little guy, it's the Morphe S20. It's like a pencil dome brush. I'm gonna go into the Holy Grails palette and take brownie points. I kinda wanna smoke it out with some brown. Um, you know, and I'm just gonna run that over it real quick. 
I think I regret what I did. This one, look at this. It just needs to like chillax. Take a little bit of concealer to clean that up. You know, I don't want to because I already have powder, but you have to clean it up either way. Okay, so for mascara, I'm gonna go in with the Honest Beauty, their new two-in-one mascara. This is actually really, really bomb. I already have the primer on my lashes, which is why my lashes look kind of white. Because I kind of forgot that I was filming, so I was like, wait a second. <laughs> but um, this is a really, really awesome mascara. If you look at the wand, it is perfect for those lower lashes because it's really thin and... I don't know, it just really gets those lower lashes awesomely. Add one little coat of it because I'm gonna apply lashes, obviously. You know what, this line has been really impressing me and I'm very hard to be impressed. There's one thing you should know about me, I'm really, really picky. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good for a mascara. Okay, so that is a coat of mascara. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my false lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so the lashes are on. I really, really like these. These are the Glamour from Ardell 111s. Um, I really love them because they just kind of like, they curl and they're just so pretty. They're big, they're pretty, but they're not like thick. You know what I mean? So really, really like them. They're probably one of my favorites. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finished uh, whatever I need to do. Like, I'm gonna add some powder to my brows because they're kind of washed out from the foundation that was on them. Um, so like the pencil didn't really do much so they look kind of grayish. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some powder to them. On my lips I'm wearing Jeffree Star Madigan with this Ulta Shiny Sheer Lip Gloss in the shade Honey. And I really, really like this one. It's really pretty, especially with their automatic lip liner in the shade Bare. It is really nice. Uh, this is pretty much the video. I don't know if I want to add mascara to the lower lashes. I kind of like the look of no mascara because it kind of, it doesn't close the eye, it doesn't drag it down, and doesn't create any more darkness into the eye. I want my eye to be open. Um, but at the same time, should you leave your lower lashes bare? I don't know. So maybe I'll go ahead and add just a tiny bit on the outer corners and just leave the rest like it is. Um, I'm done with my face. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. I will be heading out now. I have to go a couple places. I, first, I'm going to go to my store um, and pick up some things from there. And then I'm going to go with my coworker to Sephora. <laughs> I'm going to go to Sephora and I, um, I think I'm going to buy a foundation. I have my eye on this certain foundation at the store and I think I want it. So we're just going to go ahead and do that grab something to eat, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.